Good morning. Can you even see me? It's really early. So early that it's dark out. See a dumpster in front of me. It's also dark. And yes, I am at Aldi. Oh, boxes. It's like half and half over there. <laughs> myself working quicker this morning. Holding this energy for some reason. surfing. A case of wet paper towels. Either wipe something up or something spilled on the paper towels. for mommy, favorite kind.
Oh, man. My knees. so much fun, isn't it? I love free food. I love free anything. Roses. You're coming with me. It was fun, wasn't it? See you at home. So, 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 so dumpsterinas from Frugal East does. Frugal Daddy has struck again at the Aldi dumpster. Let's take a look at every cool, magical thing he found. We've got seven bags of onions, and some of them are sprouting, as you can see. So maybe I'll cut that off, or maybe I'll throw them in the ground. Who knows? I don't know. Grapes, grapes, and more grapes, and they look great they're great grapes we have 11 packages of white mushrooms and these are in great shape they're not even in pretend great shape they're just in great shape and i have some chicken carcass right now boiling on the stove to make broth and i think i am going to put some of these in the chicken broth and make soup that has mushrooms in it another lot of mushrooms i could i could also chop these up and freeze them Look at this, $12.71 for a package of chicken wings, a family pack, sell by 5 one 23 three bucks a pound. Mm, 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 mm. Piano, mild Genoa salami and provolone cheese. Provolone kind of got mashed up in the corner. Bag of chopped kale, going in the freezer to go in smoothies. Five bags of organic romaine hearts. A bag of potatoes. Some sweet little Mandalorian oranges, two lemons, and three kiwis. Two bags of sausage breakfast skillet. We've got potatoes, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, onions, and pork sausage crumble. And you fry it up, add some eggs, and there you go. Two chef salads. There's lunch for Frugal Daddy. A box of cut up cantaloupe. We've got the largest apple pie that's ever been made. It's freaking enormous. It's a huge, huge, heavy apple pie. I it's think this is- self as a lasagna it's so heavy that is the heaviest pie i've ever seen yeah. i think that um net weight oh go ahead oh, i'm sorry i thought it said net weight seven pounds i would have believed oh my gosh it. that would have been a big pie it is Can you imagine? i told you it was three pounds yeah <laughs> we're gonna probably wrap it up and freeze it i know you want to eat it right now but shouldn't we save it for a special occasion I, yeah which is not yeah. you think that's today yeah i do we have hamburger buns. We have flourless sprouted grain bread, four loaves of that. Flourless, made with whole grain barley, millet, lentils, spelt, and garbanzo beans. Interesting. Half und half. That's a pint, correct? Yes. Okay. No. That's a quart? Quart. It's a quart. Ugh. Four quarts of half and half. With the best by Dwight. The Best by Dwight Dwayne yeah. of June 24th, 2023. They took a tumble. I was a tumble. I was loading and I went like this. I thought, well, what, what am I going to do? Hurt something? Yeah, just like that. You almost fell. <laughs> sure enough, I clipped this and all four of them. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing, nothing broke. We've got two plants. Lilies, I believe. And don't worry. I won't feed them to the cats. All right, they're my roses. <laughs> they're looking a little sad, but I think deep down they're happy to have found a home <laughs> in our compost pile. Right, Lisa, right? Is that your toy? Oh my goodness, is that your toy? <laughs> you tossed it. Can you catch this? Not with that kind of throw, Mom. Let's try again. Okay, hold on! <laughs> Don't out of my hand. I was gonna throw it for you. Ah! Well, there you have it. What more can I say? It's a nice little haul, and we're already packing up a box for a friend of ours. I'm gonna text her and say, Come on over. We've got onions, we've got mushrooms, and now you do too. Thanks for watching Frugalistas and Dumpstrinas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. I also wanted to show you the cool bargain things that I got today that I'm going to add to my prepper pantry. 
which I, you know, went to a real store and bought. So I'll sh just, all right. So we'll say goodbye to Frugal Daddy and then we'll go look at those things too. Oh, oh, goodbye. I was hiding like I left. Oh goodbye. yeah, it really looks like you left. Yeah, diving behind my big head. All right, so let's do that. All right, we'll here we go with the additions to the prepper pantry this week. All the bargains I'm so proud of finding. So we have these... Sweetzels mini ginger creams, ginger cookies with a vanilla cream filling. It's like a little mini Oreo cookie, except they're ginger instead of chocolate. And I got six boxes of them. I already put one away. So here are five of them. And I think these were originally like three sixty nine, something like that. And they had them marked down to a dollar. And they are not expiring this year. So I thought that would be a good little treaty kind of thing to have put away. I got nine boxes of the Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars because they were on sale for $2 each. I should go online and check to see if there might possibly be a coupon because if you can combine a coupon with a sale, then you're really, you're in the zone. You're in that golden territory. But um, again, I like to have things like this on hand because you just never know when you need a little something. You need a little granola bar. You're going on a hike or whatever. The zombies are knocking at your door. You need a granola bar. They also have the sweet and salty ones that I think are also chewy on sale also for $2, but they only have six bars in a box and these have 12 bars in a box. So I just thought this was the way to go. This was ShopRite. Did I say that already? Which is our local huge grocery chain like a Harris Teeter or a Piggly Wiggly or a Vons or a Publix or a Kroger. Yeah, no, it's ours in the Northeast. Those of us who are used to shopping at Walmart or Aldi for our great bargains, don't forget your local big grocery store chains because they will have sales. Walmart doesn't have sales on food. Sometimes they'll have stuff on clearance, which of course is never properly marked. And you know, they just have their everyday low prices. But if you pay attention to your sales at the big stores, cause they're willing to do loss leaders, you can still pick up some bargains. Now these Jello boxes, 18 sugar-free, fat-free lemon Jellos. These were from Walmart and their normal price is something like a dollar twenty nine, maybe something like that, dollar thirty nine, and they were selling these for forty five cents each, just the lemon flavor. I don't know why they're not about to expire. Not that I believe in expiration dates anyway, but it's not that forty five cents each. That's the only flavor they were selling at that price. So I just bought eighteen of them. And then finally, we've got this guy, Pediasure Grow and Gain with Immune Support Chocolate Shake Mix. Da -da 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 you know, a supplement for kids, a powdered supplement. This I got at ShopRite, and its price was $15.39. And I had a coupon that was sent to me by Pediasure for $15 off any Pediasure product. I signed up for it online somehow, I don't even remember, but I got it in the mail, and I was like, $15? I'm going to get some Pediasure. And I think this is a great thing to have stocked away for some kind of emergency. You never know when someone's going to need something supplemental. And mm, yum, chocolate shakes. So that's cool. I mean, for what, the 39 cents I paid for it, that's good to have. And it's date, yeah, used by 1st December 2024. So that's good all the way through next year. Again, not that I think it's going to go bad when it hits that date. But so that's what we're adding to the prepper pantry this week. Two dollars each, thirty-nine cents, forty-five cents a dollar each. It's pretty good. So that does speak to the point of if you have time to kill and you're going online before you start to play Candy Crush while you're locked in the bathroom pretending to have an attack of IBS so you can sit there and play your game on the toilet. Why well, go online first with that phone and just check a couple of major companies and email them or ask them if they can send coupons or see if they have coupons on their website. Look at your big companies like Betty Crocker, Procter & Gamble, Colgate Palmolive, the various yogurt brands. I've gotten so many yogurt coupons over the years uh, by going directly to their websites. Those fancy Scandinavian yogurts like the Skier yogurt and all that when that first came out. Oh, I got so much of that with coupons back in my extreme couponing days. I don't do much anymore because our ShopRite changed their coupon policy. But on occasion, I mean, $15 coupon? Thank you, Petey Assure. I almost forgot to show you the half gallon of 1% milk that Frugal Daddy pulled out of the dumpster with the Best Buy date of May 7th. 
this was in the fridge and that's where it's going back to right now. But thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.